Yeah, I think for me, and I know for everyone who's a part of the show, like, you know, it's such a high quality and we never ever want to, for that to drop or, you know, to carry on a story for the sake of carrying it on, you know, whether that be greed or well, whatever, whatever reason, you know, it feels like where we are right now, it feels, it feels natural that we've come to this point where now we can really focus on the ending, you know, it's not, you're not having to think, oh, but if there's another two seasons, then we can't make this really bold decision or we can't, you know. So I think um, I think the writers are enjoying that freedom. Um, you know, and of course it's sad. It's, it's always sad to let something go, especially something that's been a huge part of your life. But I think I'd much rather had walk, walked away from something and have been really satisfied with, the work that we had done than to be like kicked out of the door <laughs> you know everyone's like can you just start making that show now <laughs> um so yeah it's bittersweet so do you, I mean I'd heard that Fiona Shaw might get a spin-off for example oh, really yeah yeah I, I think mean early early talks but that was I sort of I will watch that I, I think every other person on the planet will as well she's she's wonderful um I think they're definitely keeping options open. Like I have by no means been a part of any conversations, but I think, you know, part of this world is it is so colorful and there, there are so many avenues and, you know, we have some new introductions, to different characters this year. And so I think the possibilities are, are, you know, could be endless within this, within this world. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Is it a good send off? Do you think, the, you know, what 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 can we expect when it comes out? Oh my god, <laughs> it's too big a question. Um, I hope so. I, we've really tried just to stay true to the journey in which the characters have have been on this far. You know, um, you always have to pick up from the previous season and can have a continuation of that, whilst also trying to move them on in a in a new way. Um, you know it picks up in a really interesting way. There's a particular episode at the start um, with Villanelle um, where we've really explored some new um, <laughs> things. <laughs> I'm too scared to give anything away. Um, but it's bold, you know, and it's loud and it's 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 interesting. Um, you know, when it felt like we were coming to this final season and going, right, well, we feel like we've... we've discovered and explored so much like what else can we do where can we go um so it's been it's been really fun have you ever talked to phoebe about doing something something else further down the road like outside of this universe oh, yeah something? i'm literally begging her to cast me in everything like because i know she's like right in a million things probably and <laughs> i'm always just like can you just remember to cast me um <laughs> which i'm sure she has all of her you know everyone who she's worked with in the past like banging her door down to work with her again um you know that anticipation is kind of killing me as to what she's going to do next yeah um, but yeah she knows i would be on that set like like this yeah exactly <laughs> so quickly that's brilliant what about Sandra as well I mean obviously you know you guys were just so amazing diabolical together on screen like what what has that relationship been like and like how will you sort of say goodbye to her too I'm Canadian so Sandra was very very close to my heart well I've, I've also worked with so many Canadians who are just like the best like it's official yeah. um it's been so wonderful you know because we always have such an open dialogue and we've been in this together as as with you know the other lead cast um for a very, very long time. And we always check in when, you know, we're not, if we're not on set with each other for, for lengthy periods of time. Um, you know, and I just always remember how um, incredibly warm she was to me and, and that's continued throughout, um, you know, when we've been on this, on this journey together. So I'm not quite ready for the day that we wrap. Like I've been, get, I've been thinking about it a little bit more and, I remember the day we wrapped on season one when we were in Villanelle's apartment and how emotional I was then. And now I'm like, oh my God, it's just going to be so weird when it's like, this is it, you know? And especially with the crew who, you know, there's many new faces this year um, who now feel like they've been with us forever. And there's a lot of crew that have been with us since season one, season two. Um, 
so yeah it's very surreal that's going to be huge yeah when that's I mean I can't imagine it's been yeah. such a big part of the last five years in terms of the UK as well um I wanted to talk a little bit about help because I saw that um I actually I, I saw Jack Thorne a few weeks ago for London Film Festival um and you know he asked me whether I liked it. I said that I had a visceral, you know, I felt visceral rage when I saw it. And he was like, good. Just thought you were incredible in it. I thought it was brilliant. Why was it important for you to take on, um, you know, a drama, a drama quite like that? Yeah. Well, I think for me, it was something I hadn't done before. Um, you know, I was a huge admirer of Jack's and uh, Stephen Graham, who I acted alongside as become a friend over the years. And, you know, I feel like so much of his work um, speaks about really important things and I'm always so incredibly moved by the work that he does um, and it just felt really important and it was very relative to today you know um, and to have that opportunity to collaborate with those people and and you know approach this and explore this um, I just I just, it, I just wanted to do it immediately. You know, I was, me and Stephen were a part of those conversations very, very early on. And we always had a very distinct idea of what we wanted to, wanted it to look like and what we wanted it to feel like. And um, it just came together so beautifully. Um, and there was, a, there was something about that experience that um, I'd never felt before, you know, because the piece felt, it felt bigger than us all and there was no ego. Um, you know, it felt like we were there to serve something greater than us and hopefully do it in a truthful, authentic and respectful way. You know, it had to really be handled with care and um, it was a very immersive experience, um, you know, especially for people who have seen it, you know, in regards to the really long takes, you know, there was a lot of rehearsal and, it was almost like a dance, you know, everyone who was a part of those sequences um, had to be moving in unison with each other. Um, so it really created a feeling of, of, um, of togetherness. And then, you know, to see what, what Mark um, Munden did in the edit and everything that he brought to it. Um, and then to see the reaction, you know, and to see how, how it really did move um, everybody who watched it and to the people who work in care homes and experienced this in real life, how they felt that we'd handled it. Um, it just felt important. And I really realized actually, you know, we can, we can act to entertain and we can act to, um, to really kind of give back to our communities and um, expose and also explore the reality of what it is that we may be living in at any given moment. Um, and I think there's like a great power in that.